if I say 16 gigabytes of memory? Are you impressed? I don't think so in 2024. I think 32 is like the standard now. So yeah, let me know in the comments how much memory do you run and if it's more than 16 gigabytes, in which period did you run 16 gigabytes of memory? I ran 16 gigabytes of memory I think from 2012 to 2015 and then I built a Xeon workstation with 64 gigabytes of memory. Hi, my name is Victor Bart and welcome to Retro Machine and in this video we're going back in time to the year 2000. 16 gigabytes of memory in the year 2000. Are you impressed now? Uh, yeah, I think so. So let me also know in the comments in the year 2000 how much memory did you run in your PC? I think I ran 512 or 768 uh, megabytes of memory in my Athlon 500 overclocked at 750. Oh, I need to show you something. I overclocked it with my cold finger device and I still have it. And this is now super rare and I will not sell it. This will be in my collection forever. So yeah, little uh, side note. Here, we have 16 gigabytes of memory and I paid a lot of money for it. And that is because I have my sponsor PCBWay and I have some income from them for my videos. So I was thinking, yeah, let's invest some money and memory for this machine. And later in this video I will tell you how much money I spent. But first, m let's make some money and roll the sponsor spot. This video is sponsored by my long-term sponsor PCBWay. If you want your circuit board designed, realized and printed, you should check out PCBWay. Starting prices as low as $5 for a one or two layer design. PCBWay not only prints your PCB, but also assembles your PCB. Check out the PCB assembly servers. Place your order now, links in the description. So, uh, welcome back. After making some money, yeah. You need to make sure to share this video and like it and comment on it and make it very popular because I need to <laughs> I need to make this work and I bought it on eBay. So here we have 16 gigabytes of memory and I bought the original numbers of the 4 gigabyte kits. So uh, yeah, this is a kit. I will open it later so we can show it in detail. This is the first one. The second one, the third one, and the fourth one, and all the sticks are one gigabyte each. <laughs> yes, let's uh, open it. So here we have the memory sticks that I bought. One gigabyte SD RAM, synchronized 100 megahertz CL2 ECC. And here you have the original HP sticker with the numbers. And in total we have 36 memory chips on the modules. I really love the compact DL580. It's my favorite platform, the Pentium 3 platform. But those are not ordinary Pentium 3's, they are Pentium 3 Xeons in a slot 2 package. Running at 700 megahertz with 1 megabyte of cache. And Ross, my friend from the US, found more 900 megahertz CPUs. So soon I will have a full set of 900 megahertz CPUs for this machine. And then we can really upgrade it to the maximum specs. And that's my goal in this video series. So if you like that, please subscribe to my channel and make this video really popular. So I can put more and more money in this machine and get all the cool parts. So the memory is installed on this uh, memory board here, which we can take out by pulling those steps and then wiggle it out. And we have 16 uh, memory banks for SD RAM. And right now we have uh, eight 120 megabyte sticks that are original for this machine installed. And I added four 512 megabyte sticks for an Whopping, yes, whopping 5 gigabytes of memory. Let's swap out this memory for the 16 gigabyte kit containing of the 1 gigabyte memory sticks. And then we will see what Windows 2000 will think about 16 gigabytes of memory on a 32-bit platform. That's interesting. 
So this video is for science and uh, for entertainment of you. And I know you like if I say Scusi because here we have a Scusi card installed and Scusi hard drives installed and 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 a Scusi cable here. So yes, this machine runs fully on Scusi, but not the the, the CD-ROM drive. That is IDE. The memory board is filled up and it looks really amazing. It's pretty heavy and I paid a lot of money for it. So, one memory kit of four sticks was $70 uh, on eBay. I bought four of them, so that's $280. Uh, I paid a little bit more than $40 of shipping, that was pretty decent. And then came the Dutch import tax on foreign uh, goods. So that made a total for around $400 to fill up this memory with 16 gigabytes of memory. Yeah, that is a lot of money. Why did I do it? <laughs> it's stupid to do it. But look at this. And Right now you can still find those kits and maybe in a few years this stock will run dry or they just throw it away because nobody cared about it. So yeah I was thinking let's get this memory and make some cool videos for you guys. So uh, yeah let's install this board and see if it works. The memory connector on the bottom of the card looks a bit like a ESA slot with double row pins. So let's carefully slide in the memory board and line up the slot and then push the tap down till it clicks and now we have 16 gigabytes of memory installed in this DL580 yeah that's impressive so the memory is in and that's the first part that's maxed out on this machine so we also gonna max out in later videos the CPUs and we gonna do an episode on Scusi and yeah, kind of maxing out uh, the SCSI arrays. But then I probably also need to find out the best uh, SCSI RAID controller for this era. So yeah, we have some more research to do and some more parts to find. Let's find out if this memory works and see how long it counts till 16 gigabytes of memory. I think that will take forever. If you wear headphones, please raise your volume right now. RIP headphone user! <laughs> 16 gigabytes of memory detected! And it's counting! <laughs> yes! Let's hope uh, it doesn't give any errors. And it's still counting. And I will just let it count till it's counting everything. So you can see how long it takes and no cuts in this and just some voice over right now by me. 10 uh, gigabyte of memory is now uh, counted. 12. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> Let's take a picture. And the OS on this machine is Windows 2000 uh, data center server and we need that for the 16 gigabytes of memory support. And while Windows is booting up, let's uh, post the, the pictures that I took of the memory on my Discord server. So if you want to join my Discord server, you should check out my Patreon. Physical memory 16 gigabyte detected. Available 
15.87 gigabytes. <laughs> Memory uses 64 megabytes. <laughs> How can we run a lot of memory? PCBWay has shared open source projects. Go to the tab Share Projects to see all the user projects that are shared. Select a category and find something you like. For example, check out this project. Blue Scusi 1.1 50 pin. Blue Scusi is an open, cheap and easy to use SD Scusi solution for vintage computers. PCBWay makes the PCB for this project and you get a component list and a written description. So if you want to make this project, go to the link in the description. So let's see, Minesweeper. And it is using 1.1 megabyte of memory. So uh, yeah, we need more than one Minesweeper. And now we have three Minesweepers and it's now running 66 megabyte of memory. I think we need to do better than this. So let's try to fill up the memory. It's now 63 uh, megabyte. So let's open some programs like a Minesweeper, Pinball. By opening a lot of things, we are almost at 80 megabytes of memory usage. So this doesn't give any uh, big memory usage. So I made <laughs> a batch file here to open 10 pinballs. But it opens only one. <laughs> Maybe this landmine pin bot. That tries to open 100 minesweepers. And we are now uh, at 129 megabytes of memory usage. So, yeah, it doesn't help to get a lot of memory support. So, let's see if I can shut down the system. <laughs> it's now trying to close all the minesweepers. I think I need your advice how to fill up the 16 gigabyte of memory with Windows 2000 programs because the built-in tools just don't use any memory. Maybe if you load in very big files and stuff like that, maybe then it will use 200 megabytes of memory. So yeah, Windows 2000 can work with like 128 megabytes of memory or 256 and you have a decent experience so we have an overkill of memory we need a way to fill it up if you want to run windows 2000 with 16 gigabytes of memory of a lot of memory you need to enable the pea support then you can go over 4 gigabytes of memory that's just a simple comment uh, in the boot files so google that and you see how that works because standard Windows 2000 calls up to 4 gigabytes of memory then Windows uh, 2000 advanced server calls up to 8 gigabytes of memory but yeah we have 16 so we need a Windows 2000 data center server like the highest end uh, server version of Windows 2000 and then we can go up to 32 gigabytes of memory in a 32 bit system but <laughs> I don't have the system for it and also don't have the funds for it if I find a machine that supports it to just fill it up because this was already crazy expensive <laughs> so maybe if you like to support me you can check out patreon and get access to my awesome discord server or use my amazon affiliated links and thanks for watching <laughs>